Hello everyone, this is TechBizmo, and welcome back to another video. I have something different for you guys. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at Plasma Mobile. Um, yeah, this video was of course inspired by Pseudo Linux, because uh, he, um, he recently got himself a, a Nexus 5X and put Plasma Mobile on it. He said it's pretty cool, so I thought I'd take a look at this myself. So, let's go ahead and get into the, uh, the looking at the uh, review a little bit. So, this is the little uh, notification screen to, uh, to get the notifications. You just have to pull it down like that. And you've also got the time right there. And to go to your applications, this is pretty cool. You just pull up. And you got all your applications. So you got stuff like phone, uh, of a high, of a high, of a high. <laughs> Not sure how to pronounce that, but yeah. Um, as I said, this will be a lot different, uh, a little bit different from it is um, from the newest update, and from it being on a computer instead of an actual cell phone. Since I don't, I don't have a Nexus 5 or a Nexus 5X. Um, so you know, I just really wanted to check this out. So. Uh, yeah, again, here's some of your applications. We can go ahead and look at these settings really quick. We've got appearance, uh, audio volume, uh, energy information, time and date, development, screen, and configuration test. Um, yeah, and we, you know, we got a software check up to date. It says up to date, but um, I'm actually not connected to the internet, and we'll actually try. Uh, connecting to the internet really quick so this is something really cool to connect to the internet at least on the computer I'm sure it's uh, close to the same thing on uh, an actual uh, phone you know I'm you you know you'll use touch screen and stuff but since this is on a computer I just go ahead and click that and pull down the internet connection so I'll just go ahead and connect to mine like that and here we are so yeah we are here you you know in the uh in the connections area you got uh you know turn on wi-fi and uh airplane mode got some other connections down there um so let's see you can look in here uh yeah actually that was a bug that i found uh when you go scroll around and then go back to audio information it like takes you back to the applications menu but Eh, it doesn't really bother me since I'm just looking at this, looking around at this for a little bit. And this isn't an official release, of course. It's from like 2015 or 16 or something, anyway. So yeah. All right, here you got your camera application, and I don't have a camera on this on this laptop, so uh, you know. But you know, you know what a camera application does. Um, so yeah, um, you got some applications down here like X, UX term, X term, Zen map, Zen map as root. Um, yeah, it doesn't come with that many applications. I think that's cool. It doesn't come with mu that much bloat. Um, so yeah, and you scroll up to go to more of your applications. Uh, yeah, and I believe this is like the uh, software manager, the uh, software center. So yeah, as I said, my buddy, my buddy Pseudo Linux, he says he likes Plasma Mobile, so I thought I'd check it out. Uh, so this like. Yeah, application updates. You can install some applications. Or update some applications. <laughs> this is obviously uh, not in a, uh, you know, a full release. And it's not even a full release e even yet. Uh, they still haven't fully released it. The uh, creators of it. Um, so yeah, well, um, look at this. What's this application? Octopi. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of you, if you have been doing a lot of research on a uh, Plasma Mobile, then you've probably seen some of this. Or um, if you if you are looking to see some more about Plasma Mobile, then go ahead and check out Pseudolinks' video in the description. Um, yeah, you can also change the wallpaper, add widgets. So I can do calendar. Doesn't seem like wallpaper seems to be responding, but that's fine for now since it is just a test version, uh, one for a computer. Um, oh, so it looks like it's working now. Um, does it not come with wallpapers? Yeah, I guess not. Wow, that's actually cool. I like that big calendar. That's actually pretty cool. Then you just drag it up. Of course, in a, on a touchscreen display, this would be a lot easier. So, 
uh, to to go to the the Wi-Fi, you just drag it down like that, then pull it back up. You can do that, uh, and then uh, I found this like little bug with this thing. Um, yeah, so I have to like click on the audio and then click on the battery, because look what happens if I go here. Like, it'll ask me to connect to a Wi-Fi network. But yeah, it it doesn't bother me, of course, since this is just a version that I'm just testing out on my computer, and it, it probably is just my computer anyway, since it's not meant to run this. So yeah. Seem, it seems pretty cool. Here's the console. Other In other words, the terminal. Uh, my buddy Pseudolinux, he also said like you, you really can't install anything via the terminal. I don't think you can. I think he's right. Yeah, let's look at this. So you got some stuff right here. Cool. Um, K Info Center. Okay, so here's like some info. We got, you know, okay, finally I get to show off my computer specs. We got a Core i7 3520M CPU, 2.9 gigahertz. It's 15.6 gigabytes of RAM. Um, yeah, you'd see that. I don't know if that's a bug. Oh, no, 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 that's not a bug. That's just like a little, little preview. That's pretty cool. That's actually cool. Little preview. <laughs> Energy information. We don't, no, no need to look at that. Um, yeah, it seems pretty cool. It's, it's not a, it's not a huge file, by the way. I think it's like 700 megabytes. 600, I don't know. Yeah, the phone application doesn't launch on here, of course. It's, it's probably just because I'm on my computer and all these of the high applications don't launch. But, yeah. Hopefully I'll be able to bring out a, uh, a full-on review, uh, like, if I ever get a Nexus 5, I'm actually going to ask for, for a Nexus 5 for my birthday. Not a Nexus 5X since uh, I don't really need much. I just want a, a phone for trying out stuff and, you know, using to play around with. So, yeah. Well, yeah. See, so, so, yeah, let's try this again. Yeah, not going to work. Seems, like, really touchy since this is for, like, for mobile, for phones it does seem like really touchy. <laughs> um, next time, uh, once I find a Wi-Fi chip for uh, my, my Acer laptop, my Acer laptop's actually a touch screen, so if I ever, you know, review a, um, a um, Android or something, or a phone, smartphone uh, OS, then I'll probably be using my uh, Acer since it has a touch screen. Yeah, uh, I'm, I believe it's like, this is like your... Uh, Photo, photos, Koto, I believe it's called. Yeah, Coco, not Koto. What the heck? Document viewer, thumbnails. Obviously, I just, I just, just put this uh, USB drive into my computer, and um, this is, of course, as I said, um, an ISO from a while ago. But yeah. See, I believe, yeah, I think you can also just scroll up a little bit, and then, where are the, it just disappeared? <laughs> and yeah, right here, um, this just takes you to this screen, um, so this is like your, uh, open programs and stuff. Your, uh, background apps. So yeah, uh, UX term, you got that right there. An X term. <laughs> Hello world, this is Tech Bismo. <laughs> Don't know if you can see that there. It says Hello world, this is Tech Bismo. Today, I will be re reviewing plasma mobile not official release not official release in parentheses so we'll have a look right there 
so it says, Hello world, this is Tech Bismo. Today I will be reviewing Plasma Mobile, not official release. <laughs> so we got there. Sorry, my camera is loud. This one's this this camera's a little bit broken whenever you zoom out um with the optical zoom. It um it makes like a sound, some kind of weird noise, but that's fine. Here we are. So yeah, let's close that out. So as you can see, the uh, the interface it does look a lot like KDE Plasma. I mean, you know, because it is it is Plasma Mobile. So not sure where the um, the uh, launchers up here went, like the sound and stuff. Uh, move the camera up a little bit so you can see it's just it's just vanished. <laughs> it's just gone. Yeah, guys, that that's gonna be it. So. Hope you enjoyed this this little video showing you guys Plasma Mobile. Now I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.